Hey guys, um, just a quick video on the how to use the jack. So basically, um, it's always a little bit of trial and error. It's always a little bit dangerous. Um, I never tipped it, <laughs> luckily, but um, I've been close. Uh, because uh, this thing here, uh, there's not really a mount, okay? You need to build it yourself with wood and a strap and some rubber pads to protect uh, the engine block. Um, it is okay, once you lift it, just leave it as it is. Don't ride it around, just lift it, stabilize it because you don't want the bike on you. Eh? It's very, be always be uh, safe. It's pretty uh, <laughs> funny that the thing calls protect yourself. <laughs> Motor X, you can see the name. And actually the capacity is about uh, 40 centimeters high and 680 kilograms. But uh, yeah, it's pretty old. So just uh, use it for lifting and support all the time. All right, I'll give you a show on how I uh, how I do it and I yeah, hope it helps. All right, so some things, points to take in consideration is uh, that you don't lift it too high. Yeah, I'll never do that. Just off the floor is okay. Um, for me now, it's on the side stand. Yeah, it's easier. I've tried to do it on the, on the paddock stand, but the paddock stands will move, yeah? It's at the wheels, so the bike will move back and you keep going, yeah? So side stand is the best. Then you have some blocks, you will use one will be on the old pan and the other will be on, on the chassis um, where the, the installation mount is for the center stand. Okay, so you flip the center stand in and you have yeah, where the bolt goes in to hold it. We'll push it. Uh, there, will, there will be a picture. So it's fairly easy. I use some rubber protections, but well, actually it's wood, so small. It will only give a small uh, scratch or something, and it's only the bike. But it's just for you know that little bit of um, reassurance. So, the moment you have stability, you will be sure. Right? If you have doubts, then verify. You have to be able to let it go. You use the strap. You have hooks. They are uh, foreseen. There is also one in the back. Make sure there is nothing that can bend between the strap, like your foot pegs or your brake uh, mount or something else. Your gear shift. So, I 
I try to keep the strap uh, hook in my workspace here. I think it's the easiest. Verify. Seems okay. Put tension on it, but uh, don't overreact. Because the moment you're going to lift further, you're going to put more tension on the strap. This will lift up, this will stay. So you're going to put, uh, it's just going to bend something or yeah, it's not good for, for your chassis. And then you, the moment you're there, you keep track of this, you keep holding it and you just lift as far as you have to go. Seems pretty okay. Still on the ground, still on the ground to wheel. The reason it does that is because the bike is like this. So you really have to stop pushing, put tension on it. Feel it, it's, it's really a lot. So a little bit less. Sometimes that you don't have to do this. It's it's really I don't use it quite often. You probably will be in the same situation. So just you know think redundant. Think really safe. You put some tension on it and you can release the other one. says uh, enough is enough okay a little bit more there goes the wheel now I'm gonna see and it's gonna set itself now so some extra blocks here now it is fairly stable but just gonna put some extra tension on it that's it you can use the second one if you want, okay? And I might just well do that. So the steering can move. It's uh, looks fairly okay. system safety system um, so to be sure you should put a strap in this yeah like um, come come go away another thing is here so you can't push on the release uh, release valve okay so now this thing is really stable um, because you won't be the first one who will be in a situation that he gets the car or the bike on himself and yeah, is in a world of pain so um, okay be safe take your time know your kit and good luck